In this slide, I will give a quick introduction about exam.net, which we can use for making an online time exam. So what can we do with exam.net? Of course, it is an online remote exam platform that can be used with either a closed book or open book time exam. And in the secure exam mode, students cannot access anything else on their device except for the built-in tools and resources that we allow and enable them to use during the exam time. And um, the platform provides a quick and easy way to create a new exam by an instructor using our AIT.Asia account. Of course, this can be a single sign-on linked to the Google G Suite for education. And um, both instructors and students can use online um, exam by any browser on his or her computer or tablet but it would be more convenient to use a computer. And um, it's not necessary that student needs to have an account. Students only require it to, to know the exam code. And in order to create an exam, of course, an instructor can easily create one by simply uploading a PDF file of a exam questions. And of course, define certain exam settings of what is allowed, what is not allowed, and what resources he or she allows the student to refer to. And as I already mentioned, each exam will be, um, will have an exam code and very a very unique exam code that we inform students so that student can join the exam using the code provided. And certain tools that we can use within the um, exam.net include, for example, calculator, a drawing tool, text formatting, and even taking a photo of a written solution on a paper and upload it into the platform. Um, in terms of open book exam and some of the extra materials that an instructor allow the students to read during the exam time, we can upload that into the platform and students are allowed to read those materials as I mentioned. Um, to set up students exam station and to take an exam by the student, of course, we can um, combine the usage of exam.net platform with Zoom. That means we can ask students to run Zoom meeting in the background of the student machine before taking the exam so that it is possible for an instructor and evigilator to monitor the students while they are working on the exam online. And um, the generated exam key, of course, will be given to the student for logging in the exam. And um, in terms of the student's answer, it will be saved in the platform and um, in case the internet connection happens, I mean, the internet connection get lost, all the um, students' answer will be saved in the cloud of the platform. And that means student can return and resume to the uh, working session or exam session of his or her own if the instructor allows him to resume. And whenever the student um, is navigating away from the uh, browser that he's working on the exam, the platform will notify the instructor and of course his session, I mean the exam session of that student can be locked and that means a student cannot work on the exam unless the instructor allows him to. Um, during the monitoring and invigilating of the exam, of course, um, there will be a dashboard provided by the platform that an instructor can access online and can monitor all the students taking the exam during the same time. And um, when the connection of student get lost, when certain um, exam session of a student is locked due to whatever reasons, an instructor will be notified through this um, dashboard or monitoring page. And the instructor can choose to allow the student to continue working on the exam or to lock the student and stop the student to work on the exam. So this can be uh, decided by the instructor on a case-by-case -case basis during the exam time. In terms of exam submission, of course, all submissions of the student will be saved and can be viewed by uh, the instructor in the platform. And after students already submit 
his or her exam work, he cannot come back and log in and and change uh, his exam at all. And um, it's also possible to download the student submission into the instructor machine as a PDF file or to export it into Google Drive of the instructor's account as well. Um, in order to understand how these um, exam.net works, I have um, created a number of video demonstrations of how to, to do it. So these will be number one, clip number one, how to register an instructor account and to create an exam. Clip number two, how to set up student exam station. That means um, how can we make Zoom running in the background and can we, we can also um, have Zoom running on a mobile device as well. It's possible to set up several of the camera monitoring the student. And number three, clip number three is how students can take exam online. What are the environments students are having? Number four is um, how the instructor dashboard works during the monitoring and invigilating. And number five, of course, in case of internet connection is lost, how can an instructor enable students to come back and return to the exam session? So these are short video clips, don't worry. Each of them is very short, five minutes, a few minutes, something like that. The maximum is still less than 10 minutes of each clip. So I hope these clips will be useful for all of us to conduct an exam online. Thank you.